The inaccurate information on YouTuber Viviana Mosiben, which was conveyed by Deputy Communications and Multimedia Minister Zahidi Zanul Abidin in the Dewan Negara last week, was obtained from Kudat MP Abdul Rahim Bakri, who had in turn received his information from a lecturer at University Malaysia Sabah. Zahidi said he had no reason to doubt them as he explained why he had accused the teenager of lying after she made a video of herself climbing up a tree for an online examination due to poor internet connectivity. Dan maklumat yang diperolehi oleh wakil ayat kawasan tersebut adalah daripada pencarahnya. Seorang profesor dan seorang doktor itu pencarah yang kanan. Jadi dimaklumkan kepada timbalan menteri wakil tersebut dan wakil ayat. Jadi dalam isu tidak pasti dan kongsi ini, maklumat mana yang kita nak rujuk? Karena sudah menjadi amalan di Parlimen ini bahawa kita pertama sekali akan rujuk wakil ayat. Dan apabila kita rujuk wakil ayat, apa-apa yang ditimbulkan wakil ayat akan dijawab oleh Menteri dan Timbalan Menteri. Maka wakil ayat tersebut dah maklum pada kita dan dia mendapat maklumat daripada pencarah. Dalam isu tersebut, kita mungkin uh, bertanya, Kalau lah kita nak buat semakkan balik, kenapa wakil rakyat tersebut harus menipu ataupun wakil rakyat tersebut harus memberi beri, uh, satu maklumat yang tidak benar. Maka kita percaya pada maklumat tersebut. Zahidi, who previously apologised for accusing Viviana, said the issue may have been due to a misunderstanding. As such, Zahidi said he would go to Viviana's university to get to the bottom of the matter. Saya akan ke UMS. Uh, dan juga bertemu dengan pencarah tersebut, bertemu dengan kaki tangan dan bertemu dengan adik adik untuk mendapat maklumat sebenar. Uh, kita dalam isu tidak pasti yang kongsi ini kena cek dua tiga kali lagi. Mana kita kena cek dan kena periksa sekali lagi. Kalau didapati maklumat itu maknanya ada salah faham, maka kita minta maaf. Lah. Uh, dan kita sepatutnya uh, pencarah tersebut tidak sepatutnya memberi maklumat yang tidak benar. Viviona, who hails from the rural village of Kampung Sapatalang Pitas, had on June 13th uploaded a video of her having to climb up a tree to get internet connection. It was during a time when university students were required to take classes and examinations remotely due to the COVID-19 pandemic. When the issue was raised in the Dewan Negara on September 3rd, Zahidi claimed Viviona did not have any examination on that day and claimed she made the video for fame. However, Viviona denied this and shared her examination schedule, which showed that she had sat for exams between June 9th and June 12th.